What's up, everybody? It's a YouTube troll, aka Papa Berto, and I was recently tagged in Chica's Clouds and Esto Storm's anime tag. And normally, I wouldn't do this. I would actually just skip it because I'm not a reviewer. But seeing how both Chica's Clouds and S Dot just they focus mainly around gaming, and they were able to do it just fine. I figured I could do it just fine as well. Uh, I kind of entered it, and I, I might have butchered a few, you know, names for the animes and stuff. So I apologize in advance, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I did tag a few people at the end of the video, so uh, just stay tuned all the way through, and hopefully your name might be called out, who knows? Anyways, I'm out. Alright, so let's start out with the first question. How do you choose your YouTube alias? So I chose my YouTube alias in a very simplistic method, which I'm about to show you right now. EL just means the in Spanish. Jose Robert, which is my name, just combined, and then s -box Resisting, okay? So then, it is literally just Berto X Resisting, if you think about it just that way. If you just combine it, that's how you, that's what you get. I know it's not amazing, I know it's not like this revealing thing, but that's how it goes. So now, for question number two, how long have you been doing videos? Uh, I've been doing videos for a while now, since 2006. But if you're going to talk about this one channel, then since 2012. I made this channel on March 16th of 2012, and I uploaded my first video on the same day, I believe. So now, for question number three, why did you start making videos? Well, like every other YouTuber is going to tell you, it's because they watch another YouTuber that inspired them to make their own videos. But I used to watch Hutch, c Anners, and a guy called SSOHPKC. And, you know, just the energy they gave off on their videos and their commentaries. And, you know, they would always uh, make videos about what it's like to just do YouTube videos and stuff. And they would always say how fun it is. And I wanted to try it out. And I did. And at first, I, I gotta admit, it was awkward because you're talking to yourself with a microphone next to you in an empty room. You know, and it just doesn't really feel like you're talking to somebody. But once you get desensitized to that... You, you start not thinking about that way. You start almost thinking like you're talking to somebody live, right? When you're when I'm doing my commentaries, I know nobody can hear me, but I talk as if, you know, you guys are right there next to me. And that's like the trick behind it. You guys have to kind of just uh, realize that you're going to talk to an audience. And that's how I started, basically. I started feeling awkward, and then now, you know, it's like, fuck it. I do it like everybody else. So now, question number four. How many times do you watch an episode of series while reviewing it? And, you know, if you guys didn't notice, I changed the first three questions because it said review and I don't review. So I'm going to just really clarify this right now. Um, I don't review. Obviously, I don't review anime. I don't review manga. I don't review none of that stuff. So that's why I changed the questions up a little bit. But normally, I watch an episode or a series just once. Unless I want to come back... To get a nostalgic effect, for example, the Akame Got Kill, I always, like almost every day, I go back to Akame Got Kill episode 23, and I, I watch where Tatsumi turns into, uh, like, the golden armor in Kurzio. I like that shit. I fucking rewatch that shit so many fucking times, it's not even funny. But, yeah, that's basically the only reason I have for doing that, you know, for going back to a series or an episode. It's just nostalgic effect. Now, question number five. What's your favorite genre to watch and why? Now, that would be comedy romance, and I'm going to explain why in, in a very detailed manner. Now, with comedy romance, you get an even mixture of comedy and romance, obviously, right? So, what I really enjoy is that the comedy gives you the feel-good aspect, while the romance gives you an involvement, like, you know, a feeling of involvement with the characters themselves. Because, although not every uh, romance comedy anime can do this, uh, when they're able to pull off the emotions and flesh out the characters as if they're real people, that that really gets to you, you know? Like, you, you, you have this feeling of involvement with those characters, and you can't help but, you know, get sucked into that, right? Like, you don't, you don't see it as a show or as an anime at that point. You see it more as, like, this very real thing. And, you know, personally for me, that's how it is, right? That's why I really enjoy, com um, you know, comedy romance so much. Because it just has this level of, you know, powerful involvement to it, you know, for me. So now let's go to uh, number six. 
What's your favorite? Whoa, no. What's your most unfamiliar genre? Okay, so that would be Yaoi because you know until Chica's Cloud said that shit yesterday on his video, uh, on his anime uh, Q and A. I didn't even know that shit was a genre, bro. And, and then when I looked it up, is I was like, what? This a fucking genre, dude? And yeah, I fucking don't fuck with Yaoi. I just no, no, no. Don't fuck with Yaoi. That's the most unfamiliar one for me. So now, question number seven. What's one thing that persuades you to keep watching an anime after episode one? After episode one, normally it would be just the fact that I'm curious, right? Like, one episode might not give you enough for you to go on and make a decision whether you want to drop it or not. So, I normally like to watch five episodes. That's like the rule of thumb for a lot of people. Uh, only the ignorant people drop an anime after one episode because they tend to say oh that anime sucks and then you ask them like how many episodes they, they watch and they only tell you they only watch the first episode that's why it's very practical for you to watch five episodes before uh, you know saying whether it's good or bad if, if we're talking about a 12 to 24 episode anime that's generally how it goes like see chicka's cloud said for one piece he watched about 20 episodes and you know for an anime that that's huge like that that has a shit ton of episodes you generally want to do the same thing where instead of maybe five episodes maybe watch 15 you know i know it's a lot of time to consume there but if you really want to find out whether it's good or bad that's what you got to do so now question number eight who is your favorite japanese or english voice actor and this is an easy one for because it's japanese his name is Jujutsugo matsuoka and he's been on Akamega Kill, on Al Haru No Ride, on 387, on Mangaka 2 Assistant, Absolute Duo, Campione, High School DXD, and Sword Art Online. He's been on all those animes, and those animes are, are personally, you know, favorites of mine. Uh, it's, you know, except for uh, Sword Art Online 2. But, you know, all those animes I just listed, they're very good animes, in my opinion. And, you know, whether he has a, a supporting role, or a side role, or a main, you know, protagonist role, uh, when it comes to voice acting, he's able to pull it off very nicely. And, you know what, it's gotten to a point where, when I watch an anime and I hear his voice, I automatically know who it is. So, he's definitely my favorite voice actor. Now, for number nine, favorite anime soundtrack. That would be uh, Irony by Claris from the anime called Oraimo. And Oraimo is a weird ass anime, not a lot of people enjoy it as much. But if you watch it, you'll enjoy it. I, I think you'll enjoy it if you know, you're able to pass the whole incest relationship thing, because that's what it's about. But now, number 10, favorite anime song that you crank up and dance to? I don't dance to it, I crank up to it. That would be Lovers from Naruto Opening 9. And uh, I, I would say uh, Hikaru Nara from um, Your Lion April. So now let's see, 11. What anime song are you currently addicted to? Uh, that would be Silhouette from Naruto Shippuden Opening 16 and Hikaru Nara from Your Lion April as well, because I love that fucking uh, song. I haven't actually watched July and April, by the way. I'm waiting so I can marathon it with other anime. Uh, I know the episodes already all came out, but I, I'm, I'm waiting a little bit more. Now, number 12. Do you like to buy anime merchandise? If so, what do you collect? Uh, I do not like collecting anime merchandise. Not because I don't want to, but because I don't have the space for it. You know, if I had space for maybe a bookshelf, and you know uh, a few other desks that I could put like figures and stuff I would definitely buy anime merchandise but unfortunately I do not have that much space so I cannot do that so now next question uh, number 13 what is your guilty pleasure anime I don't know if they're talking about anime genre or a specific anime but I'm just gonna assume it's a anime genre so I'm gonna say romance comedies okay now uh, let's see what anime made you cry uh, just Three off the top of my head, I will say Anohana, Sakuraso, and uh, Auharu Rai. I, I would say, you know, it would be those. Okay, so question 15. Favorite food to eat when you're having an anime marathon? That would be chips with some Pepsi, because chips you just put on a bowl, and then you drink some Pepsi on the side. It's pretty good, you know, I, I usually do that for anime marathons, and so far it's been my favorite pastime, so uh, yeah, that's basically what I do. So now, question number 16. What anime are you currently watching right now? Okay, so 
there are about nine anime, maybe a little bit less or a little bit more, who knows. But let me just kind of give you guys the name right now. My Teen Romantic Comedy, Seraph of the End, High School DXD, Nisekoi, Food Wars, Assassination Classroom, Ode Monogatari, Fate Night, Fate State Night uh, on Limited Blade Works, and then Plastic Memories. There are a lot of anime, and I love watching each and every single one of them. And honestly, this is over. I'm already done with this. And thank you for uh, to Chicka's Clouds and Estelle Storms for you know adding me into the tag. Um, and honestly, it felt weird doing this, but I'm just gonna say real quick. I don't have anybody to tag. I do have a few people to tag. All right, I'll tag him just because. I want to see if they do it, alright? So, Ken Otaku, Mike and Ike, Avatar Yaya, Anime Analyst, and uh, Mike PS3 Gaming, alright? If they do it, they do it. If they don't, they don't. But anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.